the agrarian revolution, some serious changes take place, you know? And at them changes they contributed to farming practices today. So make we talk about it now. Agrarian. Agrarian. That means agriculture. Some drastic changes start rolling and change up the farming culture. Revolution. Revolution. This one is economic. New farming techniques and ideas that spread just like the pandemic. Talking about change. Open field, them get rearranged. Enclosure, change up the thing now. thing now. It is a new phase. The little farmers have to move. Oh no, what a pity. Now them have to find new jobs and new wages. Down in the city. Now that the farm, them bigger. bigger. A man can try a new thing. Four field crop rotation. Selective breeding. Fertilizer, make the crops them bigger. Use up the seed, drill, save time, go pay a bill. Specialize in certain crops because the soil is best for that. Uh-huh. Use up the threshing gin, stocks and husk go in the bin. 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 Changes start rolling and change up the farming culture. Revolution. This one is economic. New farming techniques and ideas that spread just like a pandemic. No, we have to take the time to big up some key contributors yeah. to the agrarian revolution. Like we do it, no? Yeah. Man like Charles Townsend, mm-hmm. man like Joseph Boyce, mm-hmm. Robert Bakewell, Andrew Meekle, the man named Libeg, mm-hmm. King George the mm-hmm. Third, man like Jethro Tull, mm-hmm. and man like Arthur Young. Father crop, father crop, father crop, father crop, seed drill, seed drill, seed drill, seed drill. Fertilizer, 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 selective breeding. <laughs> yeah, 1750s to 1900s, you know. A whole heap of changes take place, you know. Hey, a boss a dance, boss a dance, a boss a, a boss a, a boss a dance. Objectives. What was the agrarian evolution? The agrarian revolution refers to the significant and fundamental changes that were made to the activities and processes involved in the rearing of animals and the production of crops. Also includes drastic changes in the marketing of these goods. What were the causes of this agrarian revolution? Let us start with the enclosure movement. The enclosure movement saw large landowners buying up or just taking smaller land holdings. Broke up large unfenced common areas into small fenced in plots. Once the land was enclosed, the owners would farm any way he liked. Introduced new farming techniques, drastically increased production. Many peasants were left without land. They headed to the cities to look for work. Improved farming. New agricultural revolution allowed settlers to improve their crop turnout. Use fertilizer from livestock, mixture of different types of soil to make rich soil, rotated crops refresh the soil, the seed drill distributed soil evenly along the soil. New breed of animals. During the agricultural revolution, improvements in agriculture were also accompanied with improvements in the breeding of farm animals. New breed of cattle and sheep replaced those that had begun since medieval times. These new breeds introduced more meat, or in the case of sheep, they were also hardier and more resistant to diseases. The agricultural revolution basically paved the way for industrial revolution. The British used some new Dutch methods and developed them further. New ideas about fertilizer, new methods of crop rotation, including plants that restore soil. Jethro Tull was the one that developed the seed drill. The 
There was also the impact of the revolution on farming communities and settlement patterns. Commercial farms are involved in the rearing of animals and the production of crops for manufacturing and for exports. In order to facilitate this, some farm owners have a factory plant on the farm or use factories to close proximity to help with the harvesting and preparing for marketing employ a large labor force, have a specific vehicle or fleet of vehicles to deal with transportation. We find, therefore, that a community develops around the farm and factory. Villages begin to form as houses are built, rented, or sold to the workers. Basic services for those farming communities are provided in the association with the government and private companies. Examples of these are schools, electricity and water supply. Businessmen may be attracted to such area and open stores such as markets, supermarkets, or open other types of business which offer services such as medical or cosmetology. Some developed over time into plazas. The effects of the agrarian revolution were many. Life in the countryside changed dramatically. During the agricultural revolution, without access to common land, those who had very small farms or had no land at all faced financial difficulties. Yield improvements meant that fewer laborers were needed. Many people in the countryside found themselves out of work and left to find work in industrial towns, which landowners increased production through innovation. Let us look at the effects on the positive and negative. The effects of the revolution were also far reaching and numerous. There were, of course, certain immediate effects, and there were effects that went well into the next century. We would not be able to list them all, but here are a few. Positive effects. Fertilizers help the greater yield and quality of crops. Manufacturers now have the option of storing them in cans for sales. As a result, starvation and food shortages can and have been prevented in many countries. People who migrate and adopt new country in a different region tend to long for different foodstuff from home. For example, some Jamaicans who migrate to the United States tend to long for ackee. The easily perishable product is now available in several stores in America, courtesy of canning. It is important to note that in this form of product is available when the particular fruit is not in season. Machines made work easy on estates. It also resulted in a decrease in the cost of some produce since it was cheaper to produce in large amounts using the production method. There was an increase in number of farming magazines. Scientists would record their findings in these magazines. It provided the basis for further research, information, and development of new ideas and invention. The farmers had access to valuable information to prove their output and profit negative effects. The price of land as a the demand for it increased. Many peasants and small farmers were forced to sell their plots of land, plots of land to large estate owners. Many lost their independence as a result. They were forced to work either for their new owner, which was a blow to their pride, or migrate to the town to seek work in the factories. Little farming communities virtually disappeared giving way to larger states which did not have the same family type closeness of the farming villages. Some animal farms do not ex effectively control the scent from the waste of the animals. We find, for example, that on chicken and cow farms, there is a foul odor that emanates from miles. This is not good for people who live and operate in, the, in and around these areas. The effect of the revolution on the Caribbean. The Caribbean is prone to natural disasters such as hurricanes. During and after a hurricane, the power supply may be disrupted for a long time. This was the experience of many Jamaicans during and after Hurricane Gilbert. The hurricane hit the island on September 12, 1988. It destroyed many of our electric poles, and so it took a while for power to be restored to several communities. There was no electricity to power the refrigerator or freezer to store any meat. Canned food enabled a large portion of the population to have access to protein. Many persons lived on corned beef, sardines, sausages, and tin vegetables for a while since fresh meat was not available. And lastly, the sugar industry in the Caribbean benefited greatly from the agrarian revolution in Cuba. 
Cuba is reported to have been the first country to use railways on its estates. Jamaica and Trinidad were among the first set of Caribbean islands to use the railways. Barbados led the way in using new technologies on their sugar estates, and by 1850, the number of planters all over the Caribbean had introduced various, introduced various pieces of machines on their estates. Weeding machines and packing plants are two examples of the kinds of machines that were introduced. By 1854, one third of Jamaican sugar estates were using steam mills instead of the old animal and water mills. The West Indian planters were beginning to recognize that they needed to become modernized if they hoped to compete in the world. Favorite.